Nestle has come okay. out with their quarterly numbers. So let's address just that. And in the Q3, they've delivered a healthy profit. 908 crore rupees and this much surpasses our ET now expectations of close to 799 crore rupees. Not just that, you've also got the revenue growth, which has come in pretty much in line with what the street was anticipating. 5,037 crore rupees versus about 5,161 crores. We'll be also watching out for uh, their operational metrics and EBITDA has come in healthy above what the street was penciling in 1225 crore rupees versus our 1195 crore rupee um, uh, expectation they're, they're also talking about how their individual businesses have done well they are going to split each share into 10 so it's a uh, it's a 1 is to 10 stock split that the company as well is undertaking they're talking about how their domestic business as well has fared quite strongly um, also uh, talking about how uh, their overall e-commerce growth growth has been healthy so the just flag off the stock price as well not seeing a material impact and there's some commentary as well they're investing towards building their brand equity is what the company is talking about but clearly seeing that reaction Aisha. yeah clearly seeing a reaction very good numbers a big beat and you can see the stock as well react to those earnings in fact let me take it across to Winnie and break down the numbers for us she will be with us in just a bit while the top line of course has fallen short of expectations the bigger surprise is actually coming from the pat uh, we are, of course, going to wait by and see what the segmental revenue breakup has been for Nestle. But commenting on the numbers, uh, Suresh Narayanan had said that he's quite pleased to share that they have yet again delivered consistent performance uh, across pretty much all major brands. The domestic uh, sales has grown double digit on account of the mix, the volumes as well as the pricing as well. They're investing in building the brand equity and have made very strong and significant investments across all uh, product groups. They also crossed that 5,000 crore rupee turnover mark which has been the first in any quarter in the history of the company and pretty much a landmark for them that's the word really coming in it's a 22 percent jump up that they've posted on their EBITDA as well that's the take coming in from Nestle but Vinny uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag margins pat a bit but then revenue is just about in line Absolutely. You know, what we're seeing is revenue has come in line. That's a factor that everyone is keeping an eye out on right now as well because they're trying to understand what is the revenue figure that is coming in. Uh, so revenue yes, seen a growth of 9.5%. Margins, yes, comfortably above uh, the expectations. Margins have come in at 24.3% versus 21.8%. So 250 basis point expansion, much better than what we were expecting. Other than that, in terms of the profits of the company, strong growth of 37% as well. Uh, there's an exceptional item which is coming into the bottom line as well, which is a right back of around 106 crores so that is also a factor that comes into when you're counting in terms of overall uh, the profits of the company as well so yes uh, the milk product nutrition division that has developed a double digit growth this time around uh, when you look at it uh, the company's commentary is coming in that there's uneven rain and rain deficit that is expected to Im uh, impact the production of maize and sugar oil seeds and spices that may have an adverse impact in terms of the pricing of the company let's not forget uh, they, uh, they have announced a split also in the ratio of one to 10 as well so keeping an eye out on that one out of home consumption is what we were watching out for in terms of commentary that's seen a continued double digit growth as well and in terms of the commodity outlook also coffee continues to be a bit volatile is what the company is highlighting especially given that the global supply deficit is there so that's a factor we are watching out for uh, other than that let's keep an eye out on in terms of what they are saying for uh, the growth in terms of rural areas as well they are saying that consumer engagement initiatives have aided uh, innovation and especially in the rural urban urban markets as well milk products and nutrition segment that has delivered a double digit growth for the company confectionaries uh, all of the products whether you see a Kit Kat, munch all of them have seen a strong performance and strong growth that has come in as well uh, we are waiting for that volume growth number because that's an inferred number so let's just wait out for the calculation because in case if there's a slight bit of a miss in terms of revenue then the volume growth would be a slight bit of a miss as well so keeping an eye out on that number we'll update uh, more, more, more.